What's up, beautiful people? It's Hershey Sunday. And baby, when I tell you I'm back with the crazy scoop. So over the course of within like the last hour, maybe hour and a half, Kamora Lee Simmons, Aoki Simmons, Russell Simmons have been in this debacle, okay? The day after Father's Day, obviously some things went down. And what the allegations are, as I'm going to play, uh, because both of them... Uh, Kimora and Aoki, her daughter, went live talking about how trifling, allegedly, I got to say that, you know, how trifling Russell is and how he threatens everyone and he has allegations and they've tried to protect him, but he is insane, allegedly. Um, and they're in tears because of this. Uh, allegations to where he would buy himself flowers and lie and say they came from Kimora. Um Y'all, we're going to get into it. Let me play the clips. They're brainwashed. All of a sudden now, these young women who are grown women are babies. You know, you they, they have their own relationship with you. You have their, your own non-existent relationship with them. I'm just asking that you please leave us alone. You know, I've tried to go to lawyers and get help. I've tried to show all the crazy texts I've had to block. Like, you do crazy shit like send pic. pic flowers to yourself and take a picture and send post it on the gram and tell everybody I sent you flowers again I have receipts of all of this I have receipts from your office saying that you sent flowers to yourself without my permission I have all of this you guys have never seen it because it just doesn't war it you know it doesn't rise to that occasion I mind my own business but please don't attack my children they've been through so much um, don't attack. And all of a sudden now, the, my, my family, which is supposed to be your family too, don't do that because you're, you know, you're at rock bottom. You, I don't know. Hypothetically, you're at rock bottom. You've hit the bottom. I don't know. You're grasping at straws. I don't know if this is a money grab. I don't really know what this is. I think it's probably all of the above. I have to say, I think, and allegedly, and all these things, just so I can be, you know, right in saying, like, my feelings and how I feel, what I think. Um, but I, ha I met this person when I was um, in high school. I my because I don't like to have trouble for my dad. I have defended him every which way about stuff that I don't even know about. <laughs> I was like 15, not knowing what sexual assault was, and I'm still defending my dad. Like, my dad's a good person. I've been a good daughter my whole life. And so you're not gonna say that I'm ungrateful or awful. This man is awful to me. He has done awful things to me. <laughs> and I'm so tired of it. And all, and everyone just says, everyone loves your dad. Everyone you work with loves your dad. No one's going to back you up. No one's going to have you model for them because they all love your dad. And he's a terrible person. So if I never get any jobs ever again, then like, fine, I will go be a lawyer in the entertainment industry because I shouldn't have to lie or be bullied by a child. I have made so much about this. And we all say, please stop. I don't want drama. I love my family. I'm sure we'll all work it out. It's going to be okay. And I don't post anything because I want to have a peaceful family. But this is abusive at this point. And I really feel like my career is over. And it's fine. It's just... <laughs> and he threatened me with that too. So... <clears throat> Maybe my career is over. You know what? I used to work at a refugee camp. I'll do that again. I'll be a doctor. I don't give a fuck. And I can never get a job in entertainment again. But you cannot just abuse your kids behind closed doors and not take accountability. Maybe I'll regret this when I'm older and I wanted to be a model and now I can't be. I don't know. But you don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. I'm sorry. And I... Something tells me deep down that I'm gonna, you know, I'm not gonna regret this. You don't do that. <laughs> it's wrong. So then Aoki goes on to play a recording of her father just screaming, looking crazy at the camera. She had it on mute, but, and I'm not able to make out what he's saying.
but let's not act like we ain't heard allegations about Russell Simmons for the past umpteenth years. Okay. Kamora met him when he was a grown, grown tell adult and she was still in high school. Okay. There have been allegations about um, him allegedly being a predator. Uh, so much so that he had to move out of the country to run away from uh, things legally, allegedly. And the kids are saying he's been abusing them. He's been threatening them, been threatening the grandmother, been threatening, uh, you know, the, the girls, Kim, Kimora. And it's been a hot tail mess. I mean, nothing really surprises me. And as she said in the video, she doesn't even care. She's not able to model anymore. He's got everybody in his pocket, which would also make sense on why Kamora spoke out when that whole thing that was going on with Diddy and his son and his son's mother was happening. I'm telling you, the entertainment industry woven deep with lies and smoke and mirrors and nastiness. Like, it's one of those things to where, although I enjoy the good aspects of entertainment, I love entertainment, baby, it's only so high I'm trying to climb up. And it's for specific reasons, because eventually you do end up getting your hands dirty. I don't care what it is, but that's with any profession, sports, medicine, um, law, uh, politics, entertain. You're going to eventually encounter some stuff where you'll have to get your hands dirty um, for the most part. Maybe it doesn't affect everybody, but baby... I'm here to report stuff, make a cute coin, and sit down somewhere and act like I got some sense. That's my type of carrying on. But you let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more to come of this, but this just kind of busts this thing wide open. Don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. Also, check out my podcast. The link is in my bio, my link tree. Tap on it. It's the very tippity top, the one shaking, uh, the scoop with Hershey Sunday. This podcast that was dropped on Sunday goes into the day after a divorce. So if you've been divorced, going through a divorce, thinking about divorce, um, or ended a long-term relationship, I'm telling you, I interviewed a phenomenal woman um, who was strong enough to talk about her divorce and how she felt. Uh, goes by the name of Day. Check us out listen to the podcast. Uh, don't forget to like, share, follow, and comment for more content. As always, I'm Hershey Sunday, and I'm back with the scoop. Peace.